Hello, Brett Bean here, and welcome to another edition of Life and Death. This is um, where we talk about three artists that are alive and three artists that have passed on uh, that were kind of like um, inspirations or, or, you know, when you wanted to go to a concert, and you're like, man, I really wished that one concert, you know, that Led Zeppelin and, you know, I really wanted to see that one at that exact moment. So this is a collection of, of both of those of artists that that I kind of look up to and, and, and look at at the same time. So, uh, first one up is this giant book. I'm gonna get this one out of the way. Ugh. This is Jack Davis. He has passed on. Uh, he's he is brilliant draftsman, artist. Let's see, and it fits that there. But look at all those beautiful ink work. Look at all that great line work. Great characters. Really fun stuff. So Jack Davis, he worked over uh, at Mad Magazine as well as many. Uh, there's a lot of things. Go look up Jack Davis. So I won't bore you with the fact that you can GTS that. You can Google that and find out yourself. So the next one of the past on realms is uh, Jack Kirby. Jack Kirby was, of course, a, a Marvel, uh, primarily known as, as the Marvel guy. Um, and his line work and inks and his compositions and his setups are dynamic and old school and I love it and you just can't get that special effects anywhere. Look at look at these look how dark and nice these lines are and everything. Everything's just really nice and subtle. So another comic book artist, Jack Kirby, look up that one. And the last one for today of the past on is the Walt Stanchfield. Um, Would have been great to uh, pick his brain. Now, fortunately, uh, he was a Disney master artist and he put together all of the lectures in this Drawn to Life series and these two books are amazing and you should def definitely go check them out. They're, they're, they're just nothing but lecture notes and stuff on how to find gesture and how to find the rhythm and flow and these are amazing. Um, so it would have been nice to actually talk to him and thank him so much for all of his hard work but we have these in the meantime so go check this out, Drawn to Life. Now for the three ones that are still around and kicking, which is amazing and great, uh, Peter DeSev is going to be the first one. So if you haven't heard of Peter, I would go look him up. Hopefully if you're a character artist, character designer, you already know Peter. But And a super nice guy. Met him at CTN. He was a super nice guy too. So, But yeah, really beautiful, really beautiful designs. Next one up is... Tom Moore from Seeger to Kells, Song of the Sea. Uh, the way that um, he helps build all of those worlds and, and create such an established uh, shape language is, is just beautiful stuff. So you should definitely check out, if you haven't checked out his movies, you should. And definitely go to Ireland. <laughs> but it's beautiful work, right? And last is Michel Gagné, so really nice guy, and uh, it, he does special effects, and he does all these uh, crazy little uh, fauna and flora, and all these like really he does graphic novels, he does special effects, he worked on Iron Giant, he does uh, an amazing guy uh, at, to boot as well. But I just love how interesting and strange and unique all of his creatures are. Uh, and his special effects, and he got me into doing special effects in my in my comic books. And I really like the way that he he builds it up as um, as a character, as special effects as characters instead of just a special effect. Like so, all of those those are the three and three. So hopefully you enjoyed it, and hopefully there's a, at least one new artist in there that you didn't know about and you can go check out. All right, bye.